Hi, welcome to this video in which I will explain the pin layout uh, on the light switch in Audi A2. When I was researching the options how to connect uh, daytime running lights uh, on Audi A2, because they are uh, legal now, a uh, requirement, um, I've, uh, I found a few different information that were not really uh, cor uh, correct and also one are, they were opposite, opposite each other. So I've uh, tested, uh, I've checked the pin, lay uh, pin layout, I've tested a uh, few options and uh, I will show you everything, uh, I will explain the pin layout and also how each uh, pin, um, which uh, each pin uh, connects and activates uh, th th that light as daytime running light. Uh, let's go forward. Now we will start with the removing the light switch. So how to remove it? You just pr push it in on position zero and turn it slightly right and then you can with this you unlock the whole switch and you take it out okay so here now this is the light switch now i will just disconnect this you just press these two pins together and take it out and here are also two pins these two as you can see so i will just press them in and take this adapter out okay so this is it so this is the light switch um, which is uh, removed and now if we look here we have here different pins as you can see they are all marked here and uh, the most important pin for us is this one tfl marked with tfl which is so if i have the switch like this and turn it like this it is the third pin from the right and this TFL, this means Tachfer Licht, and this is the pin for the daytime running lights. Okay? And now, if we connect this pin to any of these pins, then this means that uh, all the uh, lights connected to these pins will have function of daytime running lights. Which is, what is, very, uh, what is the most important for us are a few pins, and these are 56 uh, with the star, or plus, I don't see well. So this is the third pin from the left this pin is for the low beams so only front low beams okay then here is uh, NL NL pin so this is the second one from the left these are Nebelschluss uh, Nebel uh, Leuchten these are front fog lights then NSL this is the uh, rear fog light Nebelschlusslicht and of course if you would like to have the rear uh, lights turned on which i would definitely would like to have because this is from safety point of view very important and i do recommend them then we need to connect also these two pins so this is 58 r and 58 l so this is the left uh, one and the right one so these are the side lights so uh, front and rear parking lights on the right this is this pin and on the left is this so if i connect this pin with this one this means that uh, both front and rear parking lights side lights will be turned on as in the function of data running light okay so now let's put this to test i will connect this switch together uh, the adapter to the switch that's it and how will i do this so I already have the cable connected to the, this TFL pin. So TFL pin, uh, uh, data running lights pin, is the third from the left. And as you can see, this, this, uh, this slot was before uh, free. There was no cable in, but I, will, uh, I have already connected uh, it uh, with the pin. I bought the pin and the cable and just insert it. So this pin is now... Uh, will be used for the daytime running light so anywhere that i connect this pin to any cable here it will uh, turn on the data the daytime running lights and now let's test if this theory is uh, correct also in practice so here is the uh, daytime running lights uh, cable connected to the daytime running lights pin this pin is uh, we said that it is for the left side lights so parking lights on at the front and at the back so if i now connect it here both front pay park side lights and rear side lights should work so if we check yes it is turned on 
and front it is also turned on okay and now I will move this uh, cable to the pin for the right side lights okay and let's test the right is on rear and the front also so this is it and now let me go to the front um, front uh, not front but to the low beams so low beams is if i remember correctly uh, the third the third from the so if we look from here the third from the right left so this one yellow should be so let me just put it in if it will go ah, okay i'll just use this cable another cable just because this one is already quite knackered so like, like this okay so i will put this now to the low beams to the low beam so and that's this is it so now only front low beams should be turned on and they are as you can see yes no no park light parking lights or side lights are turned on and now if i take it out it's turned off so let me just do it like this and i will turn it i will i will fit it into the second one these are the front fog lights so let's test it and the front fog lights are turned on perfect and this was it uh, this was the pin layout explained i hope that uh, this video was helpful thank you for watching drive safe and smile when you drive because driving is, is fun especially if you drive audi a2 bye